Okay, stand by. Gemini 4, the first American spacewalk and the first mission controlled from NASA's new manned spacecraft center, which was later renamed the Johnson Space Center. Since then, the Johnson Space Center, or JSC, has continued its commitment to the challenges of America's spaceflight program. With the Gemini program, new techniques such as rendezvous and docking were developed. The Apollo program landed men on the moon. During Skylab, three different crews lived and worked in America's first space station for a total of 171 days. With the Apollo Soyuz test project, American astronauts and Russian cosmonauts brought their spacecraft together in Earth orbit. More recently, the development of a reusable space shuttle opened new avenues into space. Yes, sir, we copied that. Houston, stand by for a deploy report. From deploying and repairing satellites. to conducting scientific investigations in a broad range of disciplines, to assembling large structures. Shuttle missions have expanded our capability to work in space. As the key component of the space transportation system, the shuttle will provide the means to carry men and women into space well into the 21st century. The shuttle is essential to the construction and operation of a permanently manned space station. As an orbiting laboratory, space station freedom will provide an opportunity for long duration research in areas such as life sciences, materials processing, and earth observations. It will also serve as a maintenance and repair facility for spacecraft and as the checkout and departure point for future manned exploration of the solar system. Recently, a presidential initiative identified two long-range goals for expanding humanity's presence in space. First, astronauts will return to the moon and establish a lunar outpost. This experience will provide the necessary groundwork for the next step, a manned mission to Mars. Each goal is part of an evolutionary approach that continues to strengthen the foundation that will lead us beyond Earth's boundaries. Throughout the years, mission control has become synonymous with space flight in the eyes of the general public. However, mission control is only one segment of this center's program activities. Months of careful planning are necessary before a spacecraft ever clears the launch tower. Each phase of the mission must be planned in precise, in-depth detail in order to make the mission safe as well as productive. Activities and procedures must be evaluated, tested, and retested before flight. <laughs> Flight crew training is an important aspect of any mission, from classroom training to full-scale mock-ups to high-fidelity mission simulators to simulated weightlessness in an aircraft or in a large water tank. Astronauts continually work on developing and maintaining the skills necessary for mission success. In addition to mission-related activities, this center is currently involved in the development of medical, scientific, and engineering experiments, as well as in the design and development of space station freedom.
Basic to the success of any program are the resources and talents of the people involved in each project. Approximately 3,400 civil service and over 11,000 contractor personnel form the JSC team. A majority of contractor support is located beyond the center's fenced boundaries. In some cases, program concepts and prototypes are developed off-site by a specialized team of contractors and civil servants. These new developments are then tested in facilities located on-site. The advancement of science and technology is critical to the success of America's space program. The technology developed today for one program will become part of the foundation for the next program. In space, the human body changes as it adapts to the lack of gravity. With long duration spaceflight, new medical challenges will have to be met. A crew health care system is currently being developed to provide the total spectrum of health care, including environmental monitoring, exercise countermeasures, and a health maintenance facility. Life support system technology continues to expand and be refined as we learn new ways to live and work in space. Currently, engineers are working on a space station suit with a higher operating pressure than the existing shuttle space suit. The new suit would eliminate time-consuming pre-breathing operations while providing easier on-orbit maintenance, greater mobility, and simplicity in operation. Historically, the development of computer technology has been crucial to manned spaceflight. Astronauts, engineers, and technicians use a variety of computerized systems which are unique to spaceflight. From a real-time mainframe computer complex, which provides mission control with several functions, including the processing of command, trajectory, and telemetry data, to the shuttle's five identical general purpose computers, which perform guidance, navigation, and control functions, systems management, and payload operations, these systems are constantly evaluated and improved. Computer-aided graphic software packages provide useful tools for engineers to use in mission planning, extravehicular simulations, and space station design. The addition of artificial intelligence provides engineers with a smart computer program, which has decision-making abilities. In the Hybrid Vision Laboratory, an optical system is being developed which uses artificial intelligence to determine the identity and location of an object. Eventually, this capability will allow the computer to process the information and decide the course of action. Another area which has benefited from artificial intelligence capabilities is the advancement of robotics technology. On Freedom, astronauts will use robots for a variety of jobs, such as construction and maintenance. Here, a voice-activated autonomous robot is tested on the air-bearing table. This demonstration is part of the crew and equipment retrieval system currently being designed as a joint project involving five divisions. The Johnson Space Center provides an arena for ongoing studies as scientists continue to reap the benefits from the Apollo program. A specially designed lunar curatorial facility provides storage, testing, and distribution capabilities for the soil and rock samples gathered from the moon, as well as for the study of meteorites. 
At the Lunar Planetary Institute, scientists from around the world combine their talents with the resources of the Institute to study the evolution of the solar system. This particular detail, notice we've got one crater, two craters, three craters. The method of management is a basic ingredient to the success of any of these programs. From overseeing the financial management of this multi-billion dollar operation, to providing basic necessities for overall operations, JSC has instituted a management structure which ensures direct involvement and quality control in program activities. The Johnson Space Center has been a part of the Houston community for over 25 years. During that time, it has continued to be a significant factor in the local economy. In 1988, JSC and its employees provided the Houston area with approximately $860 million, which amounts to about $3.3 million for each working day. However, JSC's contributions to the community go beyond any dollar amount. A mutual dedication to the space program has resulted in a beneficial relationship between JSC and Houston's business and academic community. Also, when in direct sunlight, if the sun is directly in your eyes... This relationship has led to the development of educational programs which involve both faculty and students. Solid center sunshade. The Johnson Space Center is committed to communicating its programs to the general public. A visitor's program provides an opportunity for people from all over the world to view exhibits of America's space program. Project by project, year by year, NASA's space science effort will continue to provide a wealth of new knowledge. The JSC team of government, contractors, and academia forms a valuable national resource, which is ready to meet the current and future challenges of America's goals in space.